Hello, I'm Jerry Sell with the Vengeance Division of Forest River, and this video highlights the brand new 2023 Rogue 327 SUT Toy Hauler 5th Wheel. SUT standing for Sport Utility Trailer. The concept behind this product is to give you the most functional, practical, durable toy hauler 5th wheel at an affordable price. I'm starting up here at the very front of the 327 SUT, where I want to point out that we use a, kind of a version of the Rogue Armored, which is our big luxury product fifth wheel, um, a, a very similar ch chassis design to what we call the Power Max chassis that we use on the Rogue Armored product. Um, so it has the wide stance, and it also gives you the extra storage and a little bit more of a condensed feature. So right off the bat, you have the storage that's up here, uh, and you can see you've got full pass-through storage. I can come in from the side or I can come in from the front. One of the things I wanna point out here is these are your controls for your front jacks. So instead of just having one button, um, where they're both gonna go up and down at the same time, we've actually given you two, so this will aid you in, act, in leveling your coach. You actually have these up front as uh, an assist to level side to side for your coach. Below this is our generator compartment. So this unit comes generator ready, and you can see it's all fully enclosed. Here's your gas lines. Uh, here's the plug. It's actually truly a plug and play system. Your switch is inside to uh, turn it on and off. It's designed for the uh, NPS generator powered by Yamaha, and it's designed for the 5500 watt, but because even though we, uh, it comes standard with just one air conditioner, we still have built this on a 50 amp service, so it's easily upgradable uh, to use a second air, and because of that, we give you a compartment that uses the 5500 watt generator. Next to it is our battery compartment. So you've got room for uh, up to four batteries in here, which is nice because you have the 100 watt solar system on this. Uh, the controller is upgradable to 500 watts if you wanna add more panels. And this comes back to what we're doing with this SUT trailer when we talk about affordability and practicality. The idea was is we're not gonna throw all this stuff on if you don't need it. If you want it, you can always add it. So the nice thing is, is you have room for the extra batteries. You have the ability to add 400 more watts of solar if you want. But this is the battery compartment right in here. Your solar controller is back in there. So it's all in one space, ready to work for you. Here on the door side of the 327, we're gonna start up front. First thing we're gonna have is a compartment door here where you're gonna have uh, what we call saddlebag construction. Uh, what that means is you're gonna have two propane tanks. We have one on each side, so they're 20 pounders. Now the nice thing about a 20 pounder tank is this is the tank that you can always uh, go up to even grocery stores or uh, 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 Home Depot or home improvement stores um, and switch this out. If you're camping for some reason you need more propane, you can always switch it out. It makes it nice and easy. It has an automatic changeover, so it'll switch from one bottle to the other even though they are far apart. Next to that is access into our storage area here. And uh, you'll see one of the things we've done is we've given you this big flex panel here as opposed to the solid wall. Once again, I've, we've done that so that you can access back in here and get to your plumbing, get to your heating ducts, your wiring, um, your converter is back in there. Makes it easy access. This has to do with that functionality and durability that I was talking about. <clears throat> You've got a 21 foot awning. In fact, the awning is so big, we actually give you a center support to make sure it doesn't bow down as you're going down the road. So it's a nice big awning, covers both doors. Uh, speaking of doors, this is the black tempered glass door, which gives it a real nice look with all the black accoutrements. And then all of our windows are also solar reflective windows. And this is new for 2023 in the Rogue product across the board. That solar window is great for keeping your coach cooler in the summertime. And it's also about 98% UV resistant. So you're not gonna have uh, fading of carpets or wood or that type of a thing inside if you're parked in the same place all the time. The main entry steps always come with the step above solid step system by Moore Ride, which is great. So you have a real solid platform for loading and unloading your coach. And you can see it's a four step system because it's a fifth wheel. Um, it's a little bit bigger. Uh, 
As we come into the, to the under awning area, you'll see you've got your uh, lighted speakers out here. Uh, one of the things that we're doing with this product is, is there's actually no stereo built into the coach anymore. We use our phones for everything, so what it has is a Bluetooth receiver inside that can connect to your phone or your tablets or that type of thing so you can play whatever music you want through the speakers both inside and out. So on this side, you notice this big luggage door here. What this is, I kind of like to call this outside kitchen ready. What it is, is a giant storage compartment ready for you to do whatever you want. And once again, this comes back to that affordability. Um, if you wanna put a dorm size refrigerator in, you can. If you wanna add an ice maker or these types of things, you can. Or you can make it your fishing tackle area or whatever you want it to be. It's basically a big storage compartment that you can do what you want with it. Below are the two axles, 7,000 pound axles. So this coach weighs somewhere in the 10 to 11,000 pounds, depending on how it's specced out. So it's a pretty lightweight fifth wheel, but you've still got 14,000 pounds of axle on a unit that weighs 10,000 pounds total. Now, one of the things I wanna point out is this, uh, you can see it says Goodyear Endurance. This is a Goodyear Endurance radial tire made in America. The, the most important thing that I wanna point out about this tire is that most trailering tires have a speed limit of 65 miles an hour. A lot of times we hear about a tire that blows and tears things out and destroys all kinds of stuff on a coach. Um, and a lot of times that happens not because of the tire itself, but because maybe the person might've been driving faster than the limit of the tire because most trailering tires have a 65 mile an hour speed limit. Now, the nice thing about the Goodyear Endurance product is it actually has an 87 mile an hour speed rating. Now, I'm not condoning going 87 miles an hour, but the fact is, is if you're going down the highway at 70, you know that this tire can take it. So we'll move on down. Um, you can see this is the bracket for your television. So your hookup is here. And uh, the nice thing about this, this is the, the bracket in here. The male end is actually inside. So what you can do is you can take your television from inside the coach, bring it right out here, pop it in here, plug it in. Now you can watch the race or the games out under the awning on a nice summer day. Another black glass entry door into the garage area. And the nice thing about this is, is if uh, you have friends along and they are early risers and you may not be, they can always just pop right out this door and uh, start their day while you guys are sleeping comfortably up in your area. Towards the back, we have our leash latch. Instead of tying the dog to the steps where it gets all tangled up, we give you the latch right here so it's safe, out of the way, and here towards the back of the coach. The 327 SUT comes standard with a 30 gallon fuel station on board. Um, and of course you saw the gas lines that go up to the generator, so it's gonna supply the generator, plus you've got the fuel for your toys. So obviously here's where you fill it up when you go into the gas station. Uh, this is where the handle is, the nozzle to uh, fill your toys with. And then here is the switch and the uh, monitor to see how full your tanks are. It used to be that there would be a little door here that we'd open up and there'd be like a little floaty gauge in there, um, uh, which wasn't nearly as accurate as this. This is much more like your car. So, so these bars are actually gonna show how much fuel you have much more accurately. So as I turn this on, um, there you will see it blink. So now it's ready to go. When I turn the motor on, you'll actually hear the motor run. Um, and so I'll turn it on right now. So I will turn this on, you'll hear it pumping. So now I would be pumping the gas into my toy. When I get finished pumping the gas, I hit the off button and you'll hear a change in tone. You hear it sounds a little different. What that is is actually now it's sucking the gas from the nozzle back down into the tank. A great safety feature that the old uh, systems didn't have. So on the front driver's side or off door side of the coach, you can see we kind of have this big functionality center um, where you have your hot and cold shower and you've got your black tank flush. Your, this is where your city water connects so you can uh, fill your tanks or you can just hook up to your city water. And then right next to, speaking of water, this is your tankless water heater. The 327, even though it's an affordable version, actually has a tankless water heater so you get unlimited hot water. You've got a 100 gallon freshwater tank so you can extend that shower a little bit if you want with the hot water. 
Now, one of the cool things about the tankless water heater system is, you know in your cars, at least later model cars, when it gets to be 37 degrees or below, you'll see a little light come on saying, warning ice. Well, this has a sensor in it as well, because even though it's tankless, there's a place where there's water that goes through, because obviously it has to heat up. So this actually has a sensor so that under 37 degrees, um, actually a little flame comes on and heats this area to make sure nothing freezes if you're camping in really colder climates. A couple of things to point out at the back end of the 327. Number one is gonna be obviously the ramp door. Uh, this is a toy hauler. You need to have the ramp to get your toys up and into the garage. Uh, we have an eight foot or 84 inch ramp door. So the nice thing about that is, is it gives you a, a nice approach angle. You have the dovetail up and in, but it also gives you 84 inches of height. So you know that your taller vehicles, your, your taller golf carts or UTVs that are raised can still get up into the coach. So we talk about the affordability. Uh, this unit comes patio ready, but it does not come with the patio. In fact, we even give you the cables if you want to hook it up and make a patio out of it. Um, if you want to add the railing, that can easily be done after the fact as well. But to keep the cost down and keep that affordability, this is how it comes from the factory so that you have all the functionality. If you want to add more to it, you can. While I'm back here, one more thing to point out, and that is this is uh, rear observation camera ready. In fact, it's more than just rear observation camera ready. We actually have this ready for a four camera system by Furion. So not only when you, when you buy this system, you'll get a camera for the back so you can see when you're backing up or what's behind you, but the front marker lights on both ends also have the camera mounts. So as you're going down the road and you wanna turn, you can look on your monitor and make sure that there's nothing uh, beside you as you're going down the road. And then the fourth camera is actually back here in the storage compartment where when you're going down the road and you, you have your motorcycle all secure, but you hit a really rough patch and you're nervous about, whoa, did, you know, is the bike still up? This rear camera back here, you just flip a switch in your uh, monitor and now you can see the rear luggage compartment back here, storage compartment. So now you know that your bike is safe and secure. The rear garage in the 327 is 13 feet long. So it'll accommodate virtually any UTV on the market today, even the four seaters. Uh, a couple of things we do differently in the, the back of our fifth wheel is the bed number one. Instead of having the access here, where so many other manufacturers have it, where you, know, you, you climb up from the living room into the bed, we give you the bed access on this side. Now the advantage to that is, is especially if I have kids and I'm gonna put them to bed at night, I can pop them up here, put them to bed, I can shut the door, give them privacy and quiet to sleep, uh, and I can still stay up and socialize or watch TV or whatever else I wanna do. So you've got the bed on this side as opposed to that. Um, also, while we're in this area, I wanna point out, as I mentioned outside the rear observation, this is the camera that'll be in the back so you can see your toys or your motorcycles or whatever going down the road if you opt to uh, add on the uh, observation camera system. One of the things I wanna point out, it's kinda of cool, is this is the light switch for up above, and we've put it up here. So the cool thing is, is um, you know, if you're, if you're laying here, you can just reach down and shut the light off, but it's still a place where you can turn it on to get up in there on your way up into the bed. One of the unique features in the garage of the Rogue product is our quick set bed system. We've eliminated the motor chain drive system. Most people call it the happy jack. Um, because we really feel that anytime you can eliminate a motor or that type of a thing, you're eliminating one more thing to go wrong. So what we have here with this quick set bed system is a very simple strut assist. You can see there's a handle here. I'm just gonna give it a pull. The bed goes down in the back and I pull this down. The bed's down in the front and boom, you're done, ready for bed. Throw the kids up there and we're done. Um, in the morning, uh, this is very easy to push up. You can see I'm just gonna use my fingers. I'm gonna give it a little push and you can see the struts do the work. So it's a real easy system to have work going up and down. No motors, no chain drive, nothing to go wrong. In fact, what could go wrong, I guess, is if you had a strut fail. But the great thing about a strut is I can go to any auto parts store right now and buy one of these struts, fix the system myself. The beds down below, um, are a sofa bed system. It's a rollover system. As you can see, I have one of them down here for, for purposes here. The other one we have folded up against the wall so you can see how it goes. Uh, also standard is the uh, uh, screen wall system. 
So the nice thing about this is, is you have privacy. You can see it has a big screen area in, but the nice thing is, is at night, if instead of having the wall come up and close out, all I have to do is uh, come over to this side. I'll pop these down. This rolls down. So now I have privacy at night and I don't have to fold everything up uh, in the evenings because it, it's, it'll, you know, with the air conditioning and all, it'll keep you cool in here, even with the tent end on it. And lastly, the garage area has a black diamond plate for grip. And then you can see all the toy tie downs that we've put in here so that you can pretty much figure out whatever you put in here, there's gonna be a tie down for it. They're all over the place. Each one of these tie downs is rated 2,500 pounds. So you're gonna have all kinds of security uh, with this, keeping everything in secure, your bikes, your SUTs, whatever you need, it's gonna stay nice and secure back here. The 327 SUT has a really unique and new feature. Uh, we're calling a bistro table. So we've raised the height, as you can see, I've got the bar to put my feet on. Um, very comfortable, uh, seats a number of people. You can get in and out on both sides. Uh, raised it up so it's, it's a more informal, uh, more casual eating area. Uh, really kind of a neat feature, and I think we're the only ones that do this. So moving into the galley area, you'll notice that we give you a really big counter. And part of the reason for that is, as you can see down below, there are bar stools. So not only do you have the bistro table for seating, but you've also got some bar stools here. So the whole family can sit down and have breakfast in the morning, no problem. We give you a nice U-shaped galley area which makes it extremely functional. Lots of counter space for your crock pots or your Insta pots or these types of things. A big farm style sink with the uh, uh, cutting board cover over top. Nice big sink, he won't have any trouble doing any dishes in this. Um, you've got your three burner stove and oven, thousand watt microwave, and all your cabinetry right across here so you've got plenty of room to store. Speaking of food storage, over on this side in the slide out, you actually get a really nice big pantry. And one of the cool things we've done here is we've added drawers because it seems that drawers are always a premium. Uh, not only do you get three drawers in the galley over here, but you get three drawers in this uh, pantry area. We can turn the lights on. There's a couple of lights we can pop on here so you can see everything that's in there. There's, it's deceiving how much storage is really in this coach. In fact, you'll notice where we even had dead space, we opened up and put shelves in. Um, under the uh, bar stools in this area back here, there's a big open space behind the bar stools where you can shove stuff, whatever you need. Um, the whole idea was is to make it functional, make it practical, give you all the storage that you need. The 327 has a 10 cubic foot, uh, 12 volt refrigerator freezer system. So as I open this up, you can see it's a, it's a pretty big uh, refrigerator, uh, nice and deep, as we say, 10 cubic feet. Now the thing about it is, I said 12 volt. The great thing about that is, is this runs off of your batteries. You don't need to be running propane going down the road. It'll actually work off your batteries. And of course your truck alternator charges your vehicle batteries as well as your trailer batteries. So you know it'll stay uh, fully charged. As I mentioned outside, we have the 100 watt solar system to help keep your batteries charged while you're dry camping. And you have the ability to add more solar panels um, if you need them for extended dry camping. The 327 has zebra shades for a window treatment, as you can see right here. This is a really cool feature because you can see right now, if it were light out, you could look through. I can drop this down and give you complete blackout, or we can raise them up like this, and you can see a nice big window here. The nice thing about this is these is so much better than the cloth folded uh, blinds that you have on the strings that are such a pain to work with. This is just so much easier, quick, simple, and really effective. Let's head up into the master bedroom. Up a couple of steps here, we can go into the bedroom or we can turn right and go into the bath, which is what I'm gonna do. So you've got two doors in, so you've got the bath for uh, your friends that need to come up and use it, and then there's also a door into the bedroom uh, for at night. But it's a, a real nice sized bath, actually, for a, a, a fifth wheel of this size. You have a, a porcelain foot flush toilet. We give you storage here. We even give you a place for like a, your clothes hamper it can sit right here on the floor uh, next to the shower. Speaking of showers, you've got a big, uh, glass shower enclosure, so there's plenty of room in here. Nice vanity sink. And then, uh, as I mentioned outside, 
the uh, hot water heater is tankless. What I want to show you here on the inside is this is actually the control for the hot water heater. And as you can see right now, it's actually set at 118 degrees, which is pretty hot, quite frankly. Um, but the cool thing about this system is if I know what temperature, for example, I like to take a shower at 96 degrees, uh, one of the cool things about this system is I can actually come into my bathroom here and I'm gonna just push the down button and I'm gonna drop the temperature to 96 degrees, there we go, 96. Now, when I go in to take a shower, I go in here and I only turn on the hot water. It takes about 10 seconds, and then I have a perfect 96 degree shower. Don't have to adjust anything, I can walk right in. When I'm finished, if I need to pop it back up, great. We need to do dishes, let's pop it back up to a higher temperature. The master bedroom features a wider queen bed. Um, some people may wanna call it a king bed. You know, a standard queen bed is 60 inches wide, um, this bed's actually 66 inches, so it's a little bit wider. Uh, we really just didn't have room to give you a, a king bed and give you the storage on both sides and a place for a CPAP machine on both sides. So it's 66 inches wide. Uh, basically what you need to do is buy a, a deeper sheet set and then it fits on these sheets. But what you've got is all the functionality that you need without the frou-frou up here in the bedroom. You've got your overhead storage, you've got side wardrobe storage. We gave you a wardrobe slide just to make sure that there was enough room for your clothes. So you've got the short, the, the wards on both sides and a couple of drawers. Um, and of course the bed lifts up for storage as well. So there you have it. The Rogue 327 SUT Sport Utility Trailer, Toy Hauler Fifth Wheel. Functionality, durability, practicality, all at an affordable price. For more information, visit us at forestriverinc.com slash rogue. Thanks for watching.